Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the first episode of Web Dev with Go. Uh, in this tutorial series, I will be teaching you guys basic concepts of web development with the Go programming language. In this current tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a basic login and sign up page. And as the episodes go on and on, we'll be learning more and more things. So be sure to subscribe for more notif and click the bell icon for more notifications on more videos regarding this series. And without further ado, let's begin the series. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is just create some HTML files. The HTML files are the files that will be displayed on our website, and they will have things like text and forms. So we're just going to make, uh, first of all, a directory, and this directory is going to be called templates. Any HTML files we have will be stored within templates. First, we're going to create a signup page. So I'm going to call this signup.html. So I'm going to go sign underscore up dot HTML. All right. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just declare that's an HTML. So to do this, just go dash and then just go doc type and then just go HTML. All right. So and then we're just going to open up some HTML tags slash HTML. OK. And then after this, what we're going to want to do is just write a simple h1 tag just to indicate this is a sign up page. Sign up page. All right, and now we're just going to make a quick form. So to do this, uh, you know, I'm actually just going to paste this over here and you guys can just copy it down. Basically, I just want to save some more time. So basically what this does is it asks, it's a label for the text box and it's going to have the first name and and instead of this, we're going to have password. It's going to have your first name and your password. That's what it's going to be. And in the text, we're actually going to put in the ID of password. OK. And yeah, and then just first name and your password. All right. And we're actually going to repeat the step for our login page as well. So we're just going to go login.html. So inside of our login.html, we're just going to want to change some stuff. So it says login page. And inside of here, we're going to want, uh, yeah, and the same for here. So now the next thing we're going to want to do is actually just create a home page. We're not going to focus on this in this video, but it's going to be useful. We're going to use it in the next video. So inside of our index.html, you don't really need anything. Just write h1 and just say home page. Okay. All right. Now, so we've successfully created our HTML pages for our website. Now what we need to do is create a Golang uh, file and within this Golang file, it'll manage routes for our, for our website. So before I start programming, I just want to show you guys two things that, so see over here, it's a slash login and over here, it's supposed to show sign up. So what these are are routes to the other page. Every page has its own uh, route. And what we do is, is we create different routes within our backend system. So for us, it's Go. And it's all, and it just all, you know, merges together. So to do this, just go and make a file called main.go. So inside of here, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is just import something. So we're just gonna go package main. All right, and then what we're going to want to do is just go ahead and import the HTML slash templates. And we're also going to want to import the net slash HTTP library. So these are already pre-installed within your machine, so there's no need to install them. The first thing you're going to want to do is just set up your routes. So what you're going to want to do is just go func main. Okay, and this is just going to be the main function, the function that runs first. Inside of here, what you're going to want to do is first of all create the server. To do this, type HTTP and go listen and serve. And all you're going to want to do is just write your, you're going to want to write the port that you want to run it on. So I'm going to run it on port 8000 and nil. So nil, that's just if you want to run it on like a specific host aside from a local host, then you're going to want to write that there. The uh, next thing I'm going to want to do is just create my routes. So currently I have two routes. I have a login route and I also have a sign up route. In fact, 
I'm going to make my login page the first page that's ever going to exist. So that's just going to be a simple slash. So to do this, I'm going to first of all just create my route. So I'm going to go HTTP dot handle func. And then you're going to specify the route link. So mine's just going to be a simple slash. And it's going to be the login. Okay, and then we're going to want to repeat the exact same thing for the sign up page. We're going to go HTTP dot handle func slash sign up. And it's going to have the function of sign up. Oh yeah, we're going to want to add a dash there. Now, outside of the functions, what you're going to want to do now is just create two functions with the names that you specified here. Because what's happening is that we're calling upon these functions and the functions are going to tell us what to do. So I'm going to first of all make the login function. All right, and it's going to have two arguments. One is going to have a write, which is going to take the HTTP dot response writer. Resp yeah, response writer. Okay, and then what we're going to want to do is just we're going to be able to read. So to do this, we're going to do with a pointer. So asterisk HTTP dot request. HTTP dot request. Okay, so the purpose of this is just to read and write the HTML file. So we're not going to explore the reading and writing in this video, but it's going to be used later on. And you need it. And actually, we are using the reading because we're going to read the HTML files and then display them. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just create a variable var, and you're going to call it template. You guys can call it whatever you want, but it's good to name it something that's easy to remember, like template. Because what we're doing right now is we're going to just parse our HTML and store it in the template file. So to do this, we're going to go templates.must. .must. All right, and we're just going to go templates. Templates.parse files. And it's just going to parse templates. So it's going to just go to the... And then what I'm going to do is just specify the routes where it's located, which is template slash sign up, sign underscore up dot HTML. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and execute that. So I'm just going to go template dot execute. All right, and it's going to be a uh, write because I'm going to write it. Okay, and it's just going to go comma no. There's a lot more you can do with the write that we're going to get to in another more advanced video. Oh, whoops. All right, and now we're just going to do the exact same for sign up. All right, and oh, and that's supposed to be login. Okay, and then this is sign up. All right, so that should work. Now to run this, what we're going to want to do is just write go run main dot go. Cannot find HTML slash templates. HTML oh template. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I accidentally added an S, so it's just going to be template instead of templates. All right. Oh, and uh, it's supposed to be a capital E. Right, capital E execute. Now, if I were to just run this, so I'm just going to clear this out. Go run main.go. So as you can see, nothing's happening here at all. And usually that's a bad thing, but right now that's a good thing because there are no errors whatsoever. Okay, so to access it, what you're going to want to do is just go into your Chrome uh, or Safari for all I care. And you're going to want to type this. You're going to want to go, I'm just going to paste this out here. So you're going to want to go HTTP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8000. And what this does is it goes to the local host at the 8000 port. And if I were to hit enter, as you can see, we get our HTML page. Now, let's suppose if I want to sign up, right? It's going to go to sign up. And as you can see, they, they, there's a change in route, which is slash sign up that we created inside of our Go backend. So as you can see, we've now successfully created a basic website with proper routing inside of Golang. Now, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to process the form data using MySQL. Thank you guys for watching this video. Have a nice day.